as one of the world's most polluting industries. Sustainability issues in the textile and apparel industry have received great attention. Implementing sustainability has become the vital issue for survival and growth of the sector. In this context, Bangladesh-based Innovation Hub Textile Today has taken an initiative to work as a platform for implementing sustainability in the textile industry. Textile Today recently has organized a seminar to create awareness on this. Sustainability, uh, we know that this is a buzzword and a lot of discussions, a lot of debates and everything is happening. And um, we have been following and working this, uh, in this area for a long time. So we have been doing a lot of events, a lot of idea sharing, knowledge sharing sessions. So this has, has become uh, one of our main uh, our core activities area. Ambassador of the European Union to Bangladesh, uh, Ren Sektaring. So the interview uh, has been covered in our July issue. You can ha have a look over there. She has been telling the idea behind this fast fashion should be should be eliminated. When I was talking to uh, another lady here from Renaissance Group, when she was mentioning about uh, the issue of uh, increasing the wages, which is coming in, in few few months time, so it is almost it is going to be double or. Uh, close to double and the government is planning to increase the gas price again for the industries and so all, everything is making life is very difficult for the manufacturers so first of all we need to see it in a holistic approach what uh, Mr. Prashad has told so JDSC uh, is having some goals some having some ambitions and uh, there are many other uh, ambitions in the industry. But how can you manage them? If you, if you don't have a holistic understanding, then we cannot manage it. For the manufacturers, it is really difficult, particularly the vertical industries which we have. They are, everybody from the value chain going to the manufacturers, coming up with requirements, requirements, requirements. And they have this reality of managing cost. So how do you manage this holistic reality? Sustainability. Uh, we know uh, sustainability has, I mean, many aspects. Uh, Kaisar Bhai has told that uh, in a square they have integrated uh, different departments in one department and connected that. And the responsibility or follow-up, uh, those things has been given to the sustainability department. Because uh, sustainability is not only about the compliance of the social and environmental requirements, it has connectivity with the reducing cost, uh, reducing better use of the resources, doing recycling, and uh, how, whatever, you know, the holistic approach. So that's why putting things in, in, in integrated system, in a management system, what I see is, is the most critical part. It's not all about uh, knowing things or don't knowing things. Selim Bhai was telling about some uh, solutions like what are the technologies we can use. So these technologies are, no, are not alien or are not unknown. These are there. A lot of technology providers are here. They have the best technology in the world that, that can reduce use of resources, that can, that can reduce the impact down the line a lot. But the main challenge is how do you adopt the technologies? And after adopting, how do you sustain uh, the changes? In sustainability implementation seminar, the Textile Today has engaged representatives from brands, factories, policymakers, technology providers, consulting firms, and experts. So regarding the sustainability, as we heard from many of our speakers, it's very clear to us what is sustainability. So regarding the implementation of sustainability in the manufacturing and throughout the buyer. So first we'd like to focus on the resources. We are now at the initial stage of whatever you say, sustainability, JTSC, HIG index, or all the buyer code of conduct regarding the enrollment audit, which are all of us very much new, but I'm not talking about every factories. So 
I don't think that all the brands are also have the environment sustainability system in their policy. So everyone is coming day by day. So if you only focus initially the resource management, what Tarik Bike has said, we have to be uh, equipped with the total uh, efficient human resource by getting training. So first of all, the resource we need. Then, from the manufacturing end, the owner have to be committed. The owner have to be very much committed. As for the production, they are committed with the production. For the sake of production, they can do anything. They can hire a PM or GM with a high salary. But for the environment department, they don't have any separate department. They rely on the compliance department. So they need a different department for this specific uh, subject. So he has to be committed, first of all. Then he needs to make a policy. It is not a documented policy. It has to be inherent in their, in their route that we have to maintain this sustainability management throughout the supply chain. Then it comes to measure. After you make your policy, after you have your resource, I mean the potential resource, now you have to make the measure by home. Maybe ERI, maybe TUV, maybe SGS, they have the potential auditors. Maybe you have your resource. So by that you need to measure where are you now and where you want to go. That's when where you want to go, the second question is what is your target? To achieve the target, now you need to do something. What is innovations? So you need to change yourselves, you need to equip to new equipments, maybe for dyeing with less metallurgical ratio machines, maybe with uh, uh, swing machines, servo meters, with new swing machines. So many things you can equip but to achieve the target. After you achieve the target, is this the end? No. Because as Saripai says, there is no ending of education, no ending of innovation. So as uh, Mr. Prashant also says, the 2020 is not the final end because new chemicals will come in, uh, in between from the 80, 80 chemicals which I don't know, 80%. So everything will come and it is a continuous improvement process. So the main thing is you have to, in, you have to commit it, then you have to measure, then you have to take the target, and to achieve the target, it will be continuous improvement. So that's how I think this sustainable management can be sustainable in the system. In next five years, textile industry will require more than 2,000 sustainability professionals. Compliance departments will be transformed into sustainability departments. Building efficient professionals to implement sustainability management system SMS in textile industry, textile to the training, and ERI Engineering Resources International jointly launched a professional training program. To become a certified sustainability manager, participants have to successfully complete five training modules. Sustainable use of resources, sustainable chemicals and environmental management, safety management, compliance, social and materials management, sustainable reporting and management tools.